The purpose of this video is to do a bug review within the Google Hangout plugin version 3.09 by Walt Baylis. I actually contacted Walt and I offered to do this video and he agreed and so I'm actually doing this video for Walt himself, the creator of this plugin. So in saying that, let's go into my WordPress dashboard as I already have the plugin installed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this edit button because I already started a project so we can go right into it. And that brings us to the event page where you start creating the event. Now I'm going to click on this URL just so we can go into the, the actual event sign up page or the landing page itself. Now let's take a look at it and this is how it looks in the front end as the user begins to sign in for the hangout or the webinar. Now at the moment there are two templates for the landing page or the sign in page and this is one of the templates here. So now we're going to go back to the back end and talk a little bit about that. Now if we click on page design this is the option that you have to choose from those two templates. This is the template that I have chosen which gives you the ability to upload a background as you see here which is the sun setting which is what I have here as the sun is setting and the other one is this one where you can customize your own stuff and you can see here where it says join this webinar and learn how to effectively use YouTube to promote your business and it's free just sign in to get access to this webinar and when I scroll down and click on update event that will automatically propagate and when I go to the front end and click refresh you will see that other template and it looks like this see so it got the uh, headline and the sub headline and also the countdown so that's how that looks in that regard so I'm just gonna come down and choose this one again and click on update event to go back and when we come to the front and click refresh that will return back to the background version which you can see here so that's working out fine so let's go back to the plugin again so this is my first feedback to Walt the creator of this plugin now if I go back to the event page or the sign in page or let's say the landing page in the second template where I can choose a background image I do not have the ability to create a headline and a sub headline so if I'm marketing this hangout or webinar the user is not going to know what is that they're signing up for now I love the idea of the background image ability but I, I have no way of knowing what is it that I'm signing up for and what I mean by that is if I go back to page design and I click on this one which I already have a headline and subheadline and I click update on this and when I come back to the page and I click refresh then I have a headline and a subheadline which tells me what it is that I'm signing up for as a potential prospect and this is the good part about this template but the other template is beautiful to have a background but I'm not able to have a headline or a subheadline so the user or my potential prospect is not going to know what it is that they're signing up for so my feedback in this is that in the page design in this template if you can give us the ability to have a main headline and a subheadline integrated with the ability to upload a background image that would be fabulous also in this part here full banner image I don't have the ability to remove this image if I would like to remove this image and upload a new image I don't know if if I choose a file and upload an image will override the previous image which in this case would be the Sun setting I don't know if that's the case but I'm just throwing that in there just in case if that's not the case it would be nice to have a remove button so I can remove this image and upload a new image if I have to now for those of you who are watching this video I already spoke to Walt and Walt said that he's adding more templates to this which I'm very excited to see what they're going to be about but my feedback in this one is, is that if we can have a background image ability like we have here and add a headline and a subheadline, that will be wonderful to have also the other suggestion that I would suggest in this custom template if we can have the ability to change the color of the background not necessarily add an image to the background but at least change the colors as you have this ability here but have this power along with this custom template here is so where we can at least change the background or the color of the background okay so that is my first feedback now I had to go over everything that I went over on first because that sets up the sequential order in how I'm going to show you the bugs that lies within this plugin 
Okay, so the first issue that I want to talk about, I'm going to open up the event details and I got all this already set up. The uh, title of the event, date and time, time zone, take registration, yes. I got it in default system, send notification, yes. Turn off chat on registration page, I have no. So what that means is that if I go to the front end, you can see that it says talk to us and then this is where the prospect can send in their name and email and all that stuff and start a chat with us but that's not relevant in the sign-in form or in the landing page process okay so I'm gonna go in the back end and I'm gonna turn that off which is right here turn off chat on registration page I'm saying yes turn it off I'm gonna click update so that's updated I'm gonna go back and click refresh and as I click refresh this shouldn't be here anymore clicking refresh and as you can see is no longer there so that's working however that's not my point If I come back to the back end to the plugin and click event details and if I click this part right here make hangout public or private which is asking me if I want to do a private hangout or a public hangout meaning that many people can participate and the private means that only a few participants can participate because it's more private now when I click on the private button and I click update now remind you turn off chat on registration pages off and I click yes and this is set on private over here to make public or private and when I click update and that's updated into the system then when I come back to the landing page and I click the refresh button look what happens so what you see here is that the chat comes up the countdown disappears and this headline and the subheadline that I have in the second option here which is here where join the webinar and learn how to use YouTube effectively and promote your business and it's free and join in and access this webinar this appears in the second template that I have here because this is the one that I'm working with so again when I click on the private settings this part here comes up and the clock down disappears and this little chat button talk to us thing appears now when I come back and I click public and you can see here that I have turn off chat registration and I have this as the template and when I click update and that changes when I come back and click refresh this will disappear the sub headline will disappear this will disappear and the clock down will will appear back so I'm clicking refresh and there you have it you see that the clock is back the little chat things is gone and the headline and the sub headline disappears again I'm gonna come back to the plugin I'm gonna click on event details you're gonna see turn off chat on registration page yes I'm gonna choose this on private and the design page you're gonna see that I have this chosen so it's on private this is off and I'm using this one I'm clicking update that changed coming back clicking refresh this sub, this main headline appears the sub headlines appear the clock disappears and this little feature here appears so that is another that's an issue that I'm asking you to address on your end and so I'm going to come back to public and I'm going to click update and when that changes sorry as you see there and when I click refresh all this will go back to its original state so it appears to me that this private and public feature scrambles and rearranges the chat the chat registration page and it also removes the clock and it also borrows the headline and subheadline from this template into this template so that's the first bug that I've encountered and that I'm sharing with you and asking you to address that on your end. Before I move forward, I just want to give you one more feedback in the event tab. If you remember in the page design when we're choosing the second template, as I mentioned earlier, it will be nice to have a remove button to remove the image here. Well, it's the same case with the header settings. When you, when you upload your logo image, as I did here before, once again, I don't have the ability to remove this image if I want to remove it. I actually had to go into my FTP file and remove it from there. So again, it would be nice to have a remove button here as well. And that's pretty much it in the event tab. Okay, so now let's talk about the thank you tab. And the first thing that I was saying the thank you tab is the header settings. Once again, as I said earlier, the logo image, if we can have a remove button here to remove the logo whenever we want, that'll be nice. And in fact, in any area where there's a header settings for the logo image upload, 
I would suggest that for any other tabs if there's any at this point. Um, but everything in the thank you page seems nice, but I have my thank you page actually open here and the one thing that's out of place is the URL. You can see that the URL extends itself outside of this sidebar box. And you can see here, if I scroll to the side, you can see .com slash and it just keeps going and it's outside the sidebar. So I would suggest to fix that in the coding system. Now let's go check out the live tab. And the only thing I can say here is, again, add the remove button here and add the remove button for the logo image as well. Like that, we can have that option to change things so it can be flexible in that way. Next is the replay tab. Okay, so I'm at the replay tab and I chose the replay button to make it live. And I already have my replay settings. So show replay, yes, limited, replay yes start date end dates I have them here lock replay yes got my default got my embed video and the same thing that I said within the event tab about the page design is the same thing that I'm saying for the replay so it'll be nice to have the header and subheader in the selection or at least change the background within this template or whenever you're gonna add a new template that'll be great have the removal button here and also the removal button in the logo image area but now that I have it set up this way, and when I go to the front end, first I'm going to save this so you can see these features here. And so those features are saved when I come to the front end and click refresh. This is all I get. Just the uh, sign in and I get nothing else. I don't know if it's designed this way, but I'm showing you what I get when I create those options in the back end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm gonna click on no which means I'm not gonna have people sign in and the embed video and everything is already there and I'm gonna keep everything else in page design and in this area as well and I'm gonna click on update now as that propagates and I come to the front end and click refresh this is what I get I don't even get the video to be played here you can see clearly that there's absolutely no use to use the replay because the replay is not working at all and like I said, like I showed you here, I already have my embed video here ready to play. Originally, when I purchased this plugin, it was really for the replay because I have about eight videos that I can already put out there for replays and just have that work on autopilot, but it's not working at all. So this is something that needs to be checked on your end and fix the coding so the replay can function properly. Okay, so the last few bugs I'm going to be talking about is in the email settings, but before I talk about those bugs, I'm going to put in a request that I know for a fact that all the people who has purchased your plugin and the people who will purchase your plugin would truly appreciate this feature if you add this feature to your plugin. So for example, the subscriber mail and the reminder mail and the follow-up emails, the message body and the subject line for all of them, if you was to design this to be HTML code friendly, that would be amazing for us and as your customers we would truly appreciate that on your part because as you know branding is important and if we had the power to customize our messages and make it follow our branding that would be great and the reason why I say that is because I know a few people including myself we already have our HTML code branding messages system and we would love to add this into the message of the body and in the subject line or well, really in the message body in this area here so please be mindful for that because I know for a fact if you were to add that feature we will love you even more plain and simple so now in saying that the other thing I want to show you is in my email box because I signed in to one of my hangouts as an example to see how the email settings work and operate and this is what I got in my throwaway hotmail account so here we are at my hotmail throwaway email account and this is an email that the plugin automates automatically that is set up within the email mailing system so you can see here that the banner is not popping up so that seemed like there's a bug there and the other thing that I need to talk about that is extremely sensitive is this part right here powered by hangoutplugin.com now Walt you have this link appearing in the email automation system which means when my prospect signs up to my mailing list to join into the webinar or hangout the automation emailing system will automatically send this link to them 
Now I've searched within the plugin to see if I can integrate my affiliate link here with this link that you have sent out in the automation system, but I see that there is no way for me to integrate my affiliate link with this URL that you have within the automation system. Now that's very clever for you to do because of course that's free promotion for you and it's sort of done indirectly. However, I will simply ask if you can design the plugin in a way where we are allowed to integrate our affiliate link here within the email settings. That way when we have prospects signing in and this is popping up, we have the ability to get a commission if someone clicks on this. Or you can also give us the option not to have this pop up within the email settings as well. I ask because it's only fair to ask, which in many ways is also the right thing to do. So please be mindful of that and take that in consideration. In one of the follow-up emails, this is what I got as well. You can see here where it says with us and then it comes down to a new sentence. We'll start shortly. This should be up here with one sentence here. And then you can see where it says one hour and five minutes. In the reminder email, you see all these DDDs popping up. So that seems like there's a bug within the email settings in that sense as well. You can see the DDDs over here as well. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to go over with. Okay, so we arrived to the end of this video and you can see that these are the bugs that needs to be fixed such as the public and private settings over there within the event tab, the page design, you can add more templates and stuff like that, and the ability to remove the logo and also the background image, the URL in the thank you page as you saw the URL is outside of the left sidebar, the replay page just has to work period and the email settings if you can give us the power for HTML code to honor our branding and within the power by if you can give us the option to integrate our affiliate link within that automated link that you have or at least give us the option to also not have that link show up when these bugs are fixed I truly believe your plugin will be the best plugin out there when it comes to webinars and Google Hangouts the reason why I'm making this video and reaching out to you and encourage you to fix these bugs is because I see this plugin to be the best plugin out there when it comes to Google Hangouts and webinars. Otherwise, I wouldn't take the time to do this video and reach out to you. And when I mean you, I mean the creator of this plugin. As an affiliate, I have a huge list, but before I promote any products, I always make sure that the product, the software, the plugin, whatever it may be, be up to perfection meaning that it totally serves the client if I see that it doesn't serve the client then I won't promote the plug into my list so in saying that all I can do is ask you to fix these bugs and for you to receive the information that I created in this video because I did this video in good faith hoping that you take this in consideration because I really believe in this plugin so Walt let me know that you saw this video and that you are taking things in consideration thank you for listening